Breaking news right now, the U.S. Supreme Court ruling just a few hours ago on a key case connected to the January 6th Capitol riots. The ruling could impact some 300 of those cases, including 50 already adjudicated. The court sided with a Pennsylvania man who challenged an obstruction charge against him. Erica Brown is in D.C. with breaking details. Supreme Court justices decided 6-3 to throw out a lower court's ruling that allowed a broad interpretation of an Enron-era statute to charge hundreds of defendants in a January 6, 2021 attack on the U.S. Capitol. The high court decided its use must include proof that defendants tried to tamper with or destroy documents. Only some of the people who violently attacked the Capitol fall into that category. The majority is saying here is it can't just be walking in and engaging in a riot that stops either a Supreme Court proceeding or a city council meeting or, in this case, the counting of electoral college votes. That it, it has to be tied to some sort of document destruction. The defendant who brought the case is former Harrisburg, Pennsylvania police officer Joseph Fisher. His lawyer argued the government is using the obstruction statute as a dragnet. The decision could impact the prosecutions of hundreds of defendants. It could also have implications on some of the charges former President Donald Trump faces in his federal election case. I will be shocked if special counsel Jack Smith does not have court papers ready to say that he can still charge former President Trump with obstruction, arguing that he was trying to interfere with the counting and the, the counting of those state electoral votes, which were paper, which were evidence. The court also announced its last day of the term is Monday, when watchers can expect a decision in Trump's immunity case. Erica Brown, CBS News, Washington.